Welcome, let's do a short tutorial on Bitwig Studio. We're going to create a, a small simple beat and after that we're going to modulate the beat with some XY effects. Uh, the XY effect within Bitwig Studio is very powerful and you have four slots, slots <laughs> where you can place uh, different effects. Maybe you can have in one slot you want a beat crusher, in another slot you want a comb filter and uh, in the fourth slot maybe you want some uh, delay with distortion and then you can crossfade between all those points and mix and match it's very cool let's begin with creating the drum machine and drum kit we have a drum machine that we picked from the devices and presets it's currently empty you have a lot of preset kicks within bitwig studio but we're going to create our own by pressing the samples browser and uh, I've pre-written kick in here to search and find all the kicks within the folders that I've added to Bitwig Studio. Let's add this one. We want it to the C3 slot. Let's add some release so it's not so quick and snappy. Let's add a snare. Okay, let's have that one. Also increase this, the, the release. And uh, let's press one to get the selection tool, the move tool. You have, uh, you can select between all these uh, tools with a one to five, I think. First is the object selection, you have the time selection, pen tool, eraser, and at 5 you have the knife tool. Double click on your clip, press 3. Then add some events. A little drum and bass loop here. Okay, let's go with that. Now we can turn off the, the click because it was very annoying. Let's add some, maybe some hi-hats instead. Do the same thing in here, we start for hi-hat. And if we want we can audition loops on top of the arrangement which will sync to the tempo. Let's see here. They will sync to the tempo of the door if you press this button, it's called, let's see, yeah, synchronize preview playback to the song tempo. If this is not pressed, the samples you play will not be synced. Okay, let's add that. Yeah, and let's quantize. We don't want the audio from my microphone. <laughs> okay, now we have the some beat going on. Maybe we want uh, to sidechain the hi-hats of the drum kit. You can press D to bring up the, the device browser which will show the device from the selected channel. And then we can go into the hi-hat and we can add an effect just to this hi-hat. And let's add a dynamic compressor. And source sidechain, we will select the drum machine and the kick, kick pre. And if we now fine tune the, the attack and release, you can hear the I had pumping. Yeah. 
and then maybe add a compressor to the whole drum package too. Now to the part where we are going to add the XY effect. Let's again go into the containers, select the XY effect. We add it after the other effects in our chain. We currently have a drum machine in the beginning. We have a dynamic compressor to squeeze it a bit. And then we're go we added a XY effect. You see here what I talked about earlier. You have all these slots. A, B, C, D, and you can crossfade between them. And now if we want, we can add a bit crusher to the C effect. We can add maybe the comb filter to the D effect. Let's double click on the D to bring that up. Oh, sorry. Let's reduce the volume. Maybe we want the step filter controlling the, the comb filter. And then we go down here to uh, modulators, select the step filter. We add that before the comb filter. Actually, these effects need to be placed within this blue grayish area because if they are outside, they are actually it's all it's applied to to the whole track not just the, the slot of the xy effect it's easy to see if you added the effect to the slot or if you added it outside at this point too you can see the line here and you have one square it means that we have one effect added to this chain to the d chain and in order to have a step modulator modulate something outside its its own parameters. You can see if we press this button, which is the modulation button of a of effect in Bitwig, it's presented by a, a circle and an arrow. We need to add the effect, the comb filter in this case, to the effect slot of the modulator, the step modulator. Now, if we press the modulation, we can adjust how much this step sequencer step modulator with will affect the comb filter so now if i start dragging in, dragging in some step sequencing here we can see that it's affecting the comb filter and if we if we play this back the arrangement like this and then we have a bit crusher in the C slot and what about uh, the B slot maybe we add a delay a delay with some distortion to the B slot a delay and some distortion on the feedback of the delay rest we need to <laughs> reduce the feedback like this maybe and then see what we can do to the distortion. Let's see. Hmm. Somehow the dynamic compressor got lost here. Let's add that one again. Do some quick editing. There. Now we can maybe duplicate this clip, Command D, a few times, and then play this back, and then mix and match and crossfade with this XY effect 
to create some some cool modulation and make this beat a lot more interesting. And if we play play that back, we will now hear Oh, <laughs> wrong track. We will see that the the mix of the X and Y effect, the X axis and the Y axis have been modulated. I hope you found this tutorial useful and that you will check out Bitwig because it's really really cool. Thank you for today. Bye bye. Yeah.